I'm Dave Taylor, Wells Art Director on the new SSX. I'm here in the uh, Wells department where everyone's working pretty hard and making a new game. So this is where it all begins. Uh, the level design begins up here with our brief. Uh, this is what we define to be the whole SSX experience. And here we have our concept artist who's managed to replicate what we feel to be the iconic uh, exaggeration that we're looking for in our game. So we have uh, a bunch of examples here. We weren't happy just to have a regular half pipe in the game. Imagine if you were coming through the, uh, off the back of Everest and you managed to find this huge natural half pipe. How would it look in our universe? You know, obviously overscaled, plenty of opportunities for tricks, plenty of opportunities for the player to take his own path, do his own thing. Canyons, you know, these sort of things you wouldn't even get in a conventional ski resort. What would happen if uh, we allowed the player to ride these canyons from jump to side to side, drop him in the middle, give him that opportunity to get that flow, you know, allow him to race it or trick it, it's up to him. And really exaggerate all the shapes, give it something that we feel we describe as iconic. Take something, really SSXify it, punch it up. So all the iconic natural terrain, this is where it ends up. This board represents uh, the entire scope of our game. Uh, it really is uh, what we define as shredding the planet. We've made sure there's uh, iconic representation within each of the continents of the, of the world. Each one we've exaggerated, each one we've done the same treatment we did with the uh, natural terrain back there. An example of this, this is the Rockies, um, as you can see, fully exaggerated. And uh, we wanted to take a theme to each of these things. So for example here, imagine if an avalanche came crashing through a whole train network, what kind of playground would that give the player? We also wanted to give the player a lot more freedom in how he chose to explore these regions. So we came up with the concept of drop points, allowing the player to drop himself in. He can either choose to come in at these low altitudes where the thing's a little bit softer, a little bit more uh, trick friendly, or go further up to the higher altitude peaks where, where you get a lot more speed, the weather gets a little bit more nasty, but really it's up to the, it's up to the player how he chooses to explore these regions.